Hey guys, this is going to carry here with another Exos Heroes video. And in today's video, I want to talk about dispatches. I wanted a way to be able to help you visualize just how many resources it's going to take to max out your dispatches. Try to emphasize just how important it is to get this done as soon as possible. If you're not aware with how dispatches work, it's it can only be natural two stars and natural one star characters are the only characters allowed in here. And so each tier is going to give you the same rewards when you max them out, but the subsequent tiers are going to take more combat power to actually unlock the, the full amount of rewards. So that's why it takes you know, for this one, for example, and you can hold this and then it will tell you exactly how much it's going to need. So for example, this one, it needs uh, 691,000. That's the minimum one. This one right here needs 927,000. And then the middle one here is going to be 1.25 uh, million and then and so on and so forth all the way up into 1.5 six million combat power here significantly harder to get the later tiers but definitely recommend slowly building up your way here at least make sure you have you're at least doing them have as many of these like i would say the first tier should be maxed as soon as possible the second tier can be maxed a little bit after that and so on and so forth and it probably won't be until uh, quite a while later when you can actually max these guys and because here let me show you the kind of gear and levels that they are that actually got them to this got this stuff maxed so what I like to do here is I just like to filter by magical and common. So here we go. And then it's going to just going to be the, the essentially the top five characters are going to be the first team or the highest team. And then the next five are going to be the next team. And the next five are going to be the next team. So um, here we go. So like pretty much essentially it's like all on the on this final team. It's mostly all faded gear not max faded gear but still like decently invested faded gear and i tried to get the i just did this today like i re-geared them all because i wanted to have as many like as minimum as possible i was trying to get away with just using like level 30 legendary gear and then seeing if it would even come close and it, and it does not it took multiple characters in full faded gear for it to actually uh you know barely reach that threshold so then as you can see like so we got this is the third character in full faded fourth character fifth character six um seven eight and then nine we i just started using f uh, four pieces and then now ten no pieces no pieces and so now it's all just like there's this guy right here he was kind of overcompensated for because he was so low level i didn't really want to bother leveling him i just threw that the gear on there to make up for it as you can see like for example this guy has uh he's level 75 with only level 30 gear whereas this guy's level 45 but with four faded pieces of gear and they're almost identical in combat power i think this will make it a little easier yeah see so they're they're right there so it makes a massive difference to make sure you're having like the equivalent level of faded gear versus having just the legendary gear so it, it does make a big difference too to the to do that pretty much the last ones are you know it was like minimally invested into but you know i threw a faded piece here and there there's you know room to work here so i ended up throwing like a faded piece here and there when you could just level the character up if you don't have the faded um, pieces of gear to despair you can just level these guys up so it's just you can go one way or the other me personally my my favorite break point is level 75 because not only are you double dipping on getting the character for dispatches but you're also unlocking the character reward bonus for leveling the character to 75. That's the minimum to get the final bonus, and it's 70s S, or it's 20 plus 50s S, so 70s S total for doing that. And so it actually kind of like helps pay for it, which is nice. So I would recommend prioritizing leveling as many uh, lunar and solar to natural two stars as possible if you can, because these are the factions that are lacking the most. You'll be able to double dip the most into other parts of the game. Your clan, when you're trying to take down the dragon or when you're doing your, your clan raid and also for embodiment of avarice, those are days that are pretty easy to struggle in. So I'd recommend that. There's also just not that many. Like if you look at all the, the total amount of characters in the game, there's just not that many solar and lunar characters versus the other factions. So it's kind of a no brainer. Just make sure you're prioritizing when you're maxing these guys out, the solar and lunar characters. Make sure you're leveling characters and you're not overlapping in a uh, side story. So you want to have as many characters that are also going to be useful in side story as possible. So just kind of have a good a wide range of types and then have enough commons. So for example, like the, the commons, it doesn't really matter what the type is, but I could have double dipped and got like common plus plus frost or something like that. So 
So for example, if I go suggest, yeah, I'm going to be able to double dip because these two combos are also frost, uh, which is nice. And then that frees up a spot for a, another character here in Rara, so that can really help you out if you're making sure you're doing that. So I would, if you're going to, I would try not to pick too many commons, but just enough to, to cover the, the types for side story here to make it a little easier for you. Experience tomes are just one of the, the major bottlenecks in the game. I would say experience tomes and then also polished materials are the two biggest issues that I have in the game. And at least for the experience tomes, you can have some kind of way to actively try to mitigate that issue by investing in these characters. At least there's ways to to make it to where you're kind of double dipping in other aspects of the game. But not by much. Like I would say, you know, embodiment avarice for um, the, the solar and lunar days, you kind of get a little benefit there. Like I've noticed that boost up my power there, uh, and then also for side story, it's going to help out there because it's really annoying. I don't think I can auto any day on side story so far. So hopefully we'll be able to get there. I was looking at that, and it was today, for example, it's actually looking pretty close, which is pretty cool. And it, that would be like a nice little bonus thing to help speed up your your day grinding if you can actually not only get your dispatches taken care of but then also be able to auto all the side story missions all right guys well that's going to do it for this video if you have any questions about this let me know down in the comments below also i am affiliated with blue stacks so i left two links down in the description below for two different games to try both of them i've tried and enjoyed before which is raid and marvel strike force if you're looking for an android emulator be sure to download that in the link below and try out one of those games and you guys have a good one peace